Hi there, this is Dan of Doozy and this is another Zoe moment. Thinking about Jesus' life, he talked about Zoe more than anything else. 53 times he talked about Zoe in regards to a vibrant, a vibrant quality of life. There's this man in uh, Mark chapter 10 verse 30 and I love this moment. Um, no, it's in Mark 10 verse 17. As Jesus started on his way, a man ran. Now get this. The picture is a man is running to him. He fell on his knees before him and said, Good teacher. He asked, What must I do to inherit eternal life? Now, if you just take this for just reading it, you're going to think this guy is interested in life after death. But the context and the words used here have nothing to do with a life someplace else. Jewish culture regarded eternal life as abundant or lasting life. They said you either had a life that lasted or a life that was fleeting. This guy is coming to Jesus saying, good teacher, could you tell me how to have an amazing life that makes a difference? That's what he's saying. So even, even when you look up the word eternal, in concordance, uh, Strong's concordance, you'll see that it's this eternal has nothing to do with the future. It is a present reality. This guy is coming to Jesus saying, how do I live the life that you have designed for me to live here and now? And that's the question I wanna be asking. That's the question you should be asking. How do we live a life of legacy? How do we live a life that makes a difference? one of vitality here and now that reflects something that lasts. A fleeting life is something that doesn't matter, but a lasting life is something that makes a difference here and has that ripple effect like a water. Ripples, ripples, ripples. That's what lasting life means in this context. Amazing question that this guy asked Jesus, and I'm asking myself, Jesus, what do I need to do to have this Zoe life that lasts. I'll watch the waves. Love life and see good days.